Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Effectively. Today we are going to study on how to find the sum of the factors of the given number. For example, let's say that we are given a number 5 and we have to find the sum of its factors. And we have to make sure that the factor should be less than the given number. Then only we are able to find the sum of factors of the given number. If the given number is 5, we know that 5 is divisible by 1 when we may have to find the sum of the we have to find the factors which are less than the 5 or the number itself so here we can say that the sum of the factors of the given number 5 is only 1 now let's take some another example if we have the number 6 let's say 6 6 has the factor 1 the factors of 6 are 1 2 and 3 so these are the factors of 6 first we have to find the factors of 6 and then let's mix the sum of this the sum of the above numbers that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. So we can display the message that the sum of the given number 6 is 6. Let's take few more examples. Now we have to find the sum of the factor of 8. So now first we have to find what are the factors of 8. The factors of 8 are 1, 2 and 4. We make sure that you don't have to include 8 as the factor because we don't include the factors which are equal to the number. So 8 is equal to 8 so we don't have to include this. We have to find all the factors which are less than the given number. So we have the factors here 1, 2 and 4. Now let's make this sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. How much is this? 3 plus 4 7. So we can say that the sum of 8 is or the sum of factors of 8 is 7. So now let's see what will be the code for this. First of all let's make a proper code in BlueJ IDE and learn how to make the proper program. Now let's say the name of a class should be factors only because we are finding the factors. So this is a sensible name for the class. Now let's start with the coding. I have named first let me start with my class. The name of the class is factors. After this, now what we will do, we will start with the void main. Within the void main, let's take a parameter as input. After this, I will just start my void main. And within this void main, let me declare a variable s to show the sum of the factors. Now let's start with the for loop. And within the for loop, I will take int i, which will control the loop. And we will start i from 1. And let's take this 1 and i less than the number. Because we know that we have to find the factors which are less than the number. After this, what we have to do? We have to first check if n modulus i is equal equal 0. If this condition will be true, this means that the given number has a factor. And let's add this or we can add these factors to s. After this, we will close the for loop. And after the closing the for loop, we have to just simply display system.out.println. You can display any of the message that you want that the sum of the given number or so sum of the factors of the given number is this. I will just simply display s just to save my time. And here I close my main function and after this let's close our class. After this now let me explain what I have written here. We have made a class that is known as factors and within the void main I have declared a variable int and in this user will enter the number and I have used int s equals to 0 just to show the sum of the factors and I will use the for loop in this I will start from 1 to i less than n and after this I will check for the factors because if n will be modulus or divided by i the remainder will be 0 this means that i or the value of current value of i that number is a factor of n and that number I will store in s or I will simply say that I have stored the sum of the factors after this, when the for loop will get over, we will simply display s. So let's compile the program. It's definitely correct. See, it is written here. Class compile, no syntax error. Now let's close this program. This is the factors class. I will just make a object. After creating the object, let's call the object. And we have asked a number. The user has asked. Let's take 8 because we know that the sum of the factors of 8 is 7. Um, here I input 8. You can see 7 has been displayed. So our program is exactly correct. Now let's see what happens the, during the execution of the program. Or let's say, let's say that we can learn how to make the dry run of this program. Now we will do the same procedure that I am following in the dry run or in the practical way. In N1, let's say 
8 only let's take 8 Okay, the user has input 8. After this, int s is equal to 0. s is 0. Initially, the value of s is 0. Now, the loop for i will run till 1. From start will 1 and it will go till 7 because less than n1. The value of n1 is 8. So, less than 8 minus. So, 8 minus 1, it will be 7. First, the value of i will be 1. When the i value of i will be 1, it will divide. n modulus i equal equal 0. Now, when you will divide 8 by 1 and it's 8, 8 ones are 8 and it will be 0. Yeah, it is 0, 0 is equal to 0. Condition true, s is equal to s plus i. What is the value of i? 1. So, s plus i, s plus 1. So, value of s is 1. Now, let's go again. The loop will go again and i will be 2, i is less than 7. Condition true, it will come inside. If n modulus i equal equal 0, let's see. What is the value of n1? H, i, what is the value of i? 2 h 2 for the h it's 0 the condition is again true what will be x2 s is equal to s plus 1 what's the value of s s 1 1 plus what's the value of i i is 2 so it will give 3 okay now let's go again the value of i will be 3 now let's divide this by 3 because what is this n modulus 1 divide by when modulus 1 equal equal 0 so let's see 3 2 the 6 and it is 2 the remainder is 2 and 2 is never equal to 0. So, condition is false. The value of i will be now 4. When the value of i will be 4, we will do n modulus i. So, let's see n1. What is the value of n1? 8. And the value of i is 4. 4 to the 8. It's 0. Condition is true. So, s is equal to s plus 1. So, let's see. What's the value of s? s is 3. And what is the value of i? 4. So, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Then again the loop will go up and we will see that the value of i has been increased to 7, to 5 sorry. And when we will divide n1 by 5, let's see n1 divided by 5, it will be 1 and 5 then 3. Then you can see 3 is never equal to 0. So now the value of i will, in I will increase and now it will be 6. Now again you will divide 8 by 6 and then you will see a remainder will be appearing that is 2. So it is never equals to 0 so now the value of i will be 7 when the value of i will be 7 let's see what happens 7 when we will divide this 7 1 the 7 remainder is 1 1 is never equal to 0 now the value of i will become 8 when the value of i will become 8 it will check that i i is 8 8 is less than equal less than 7 oh condition is false because it is never less than 7 now it will definitely go and print the system dot out dot print ln s Let's see what is the value of s. The final value of s is 7. 7 will be printed. And we have seen in the previous BlueJ ID when I was running that the when we entered 8 as the number, then we got the sum of the factors is 7. So we, our output is extremely correct in the practical way as well as in the dry run or in the manual way. So if you like this video, please go and subscribe to the Code Effectively channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Thank you for watching the video.